some glorious strokes all around the wicket. Better Mooney concentrating on that area, square of the wicket on the offside. We pick up play now in the second over after lunch. Three runs have been added. Paul Allard is the bowler and Vetter Mooney is taking strike. They're very straight, both these boys. Again, uh, Vetter Mooney getting right in line there. Yes, technically they are extremely good players. Head right behind the line of the ball there. Very, very straight pick up and follow through. Now that one dropped short enough for him to play another very good shot. Forced off the back foot. As soon as the bowlers have erred a little in length and direction, they've been uh, quick to put it away. Yes, there is no room for error on a wicket like this. him into half volley once again but, uh, lashed it through on the up again the uh, movement of the feet there was absolutely spot on position to push it away gone through so success then for Agnew and well deserved too good delivery it's the end of Ranatunga for 84 tying up a really substantial fourth wicket stand here with Ranatunga going at 292 for four and a well deserved wicket this for Jonathan Agnew just coming down the hill a little and hit right at the top of that off stump just knocking a bail off he could so easily have gone over. But he played very, very well indeed, Renatunga. 84. Marvellous uh, performance from him on his first appearance in a test match at Lords. Well, skipper's had a long wait. Captain about to take strike for the first time, Paul Allard. And uh, a reflex hook. He didn't, uh, he didn't appear to look at it too much. If that rumour is around about his hooking, they've certainly decided to work on it, but he might make a few runs in the meantime before they get to him. The skipper really being tested. He gets in a good position there. A very fine stroke indeed. Sri Lanka, <laughs> what a nice way to bring it up. Oh, well, he drilled that straight back like an absolute rocket. 
Hit it on the up again, rather like the one he hit uh, through extra cover. And I think it hit uh, Jonathan Agnew before he was ready. Yeah, he looks to me the sort of fellow who's going to be a blocker and a slasher. He might block three or four and then hit a couple of boundaries. And he's not to be taken lightly because he's already made um, a century in each innings of a test match against India. It's a tremendous shot there. He doesn't get too far behind it, but uh, he really gives it a whack. Way through that gap between point and gully. 150 for Vedamuni. Well done. Vettermuni has strike. How close can we get to the tactics uh, here, Ray? Do you think uh, both them might be about to bounce out Mendes? Well, I don't know about to bounce him out. I think he might be certainly going to try. <laughs> it could be quite interesting, this, I would imagine, if he has a go. It's, the ball's got a little bit older. It's a very nice, easy pace wicket, so the hook shot's certainly on. One hundred and fifty four to Vetamuni, and that is a real milestone in the history of cricket. It's the highest score made by a batsman in his country's first test match in England. Well, there's another one in the middle of this, all right. That's disappeared into the crowd for six. Great shot. Everybody anticipating that would come, and uh, most people knew the challenge would be would be taken. And he gave this a fearful crack. He's certainly a strong little man, is Mendes, because that was above his head. And he did well, really, to middle that, but that really flew away into the stand. <laughs> That's it. Beautiful shot off the back foot. Well, I said Vettimuni takes him on to his uh, best score in Test Match cricket. 160 not out. Been there an awful long time now. There he goes again. That could be six more. Indeed it is. <laughs> uh, both of them having a few words to say now. He's already got two men out on that lakeside boundary. He's shoveled that one away, and that's cleared the field of two for six more. And both of them have been hard words there with David Gower. I think David Gower, in fact, should be having hard words with both of them. And uh, what he's complaining about the whole time. Kind of, kind of a man in the crowd to catch him. And he's lowered that one for four now. Fetty Moon is turned to come into the action. And this was a tremendous uh, shot here. Wide and really cracked away on the up. Four more. Oh, pitch launched into it. Not quite a half volley either that time. Forty nine on the board for the captain. He faces Allison.
good backing up by uh, Otimouni. So the single there to Dilip Bendis brings him a most attractive 50. Been uh, a real joy to watch. And just the one success in that session with Agnew bowling Ranatunga for 84. A great performance that from Vitamuni to be 173 at T on the second day. And Mendes the skipper, well, when he came in, we said after he'd played a few strokes, he looks the sort of fellow who'll give us a tremendous amount of enjoyment this afternoon. And that's exactly what he did, 52.